We're ready. Oh, I like the front page. Fortune and myself. Oh yeah. The course. old man himself. Fortune, Damn right? We couldn't couldn't not have you there, could we? The best good-looking 57-year-old oh. man I've ever seen growing <laughs> fortune. I give him a break. He's only 53. Do you want to introduce your movie? Yeah. <coughs> uh, welcome so, yeah. to the behind-the-scenes commentary of Christian Blake. I'm the director on Alan Mackin. This you is got your name. That's you got your name. Say it was oh. <laughs> You're gonna say my name for the director? Oh no, no, no! I'm the director Alan Mackin, and this is one of the lead actors, Emmett Scanlon. Um, we're gonna give you a director's commentary and an actor's commentary for the <laughs> film. <laughs> yeah, let's just do it. Okay, before I talk. Right? All right, press play. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, we need to turn down the sound on this. Do we? Yeah. Well, turn it down. No, I should. Yeah, just turn it down a little bit. Right, not too much though. The film was selected for the Middle Ulster Film Festival. That's actually where it was premiered. Oh, it was in the Galway Film Flat. Yeah, this year, two thousand and eight. And why are we doing this commentary? Didn't you get some good news? Yeah, we're doing this commentary because uh, this film, which is made on a budget of pretty much zero, is uh, getting a DVD release in America and Canada, and that's before Go it was on out the Go on, the Americans. Suckers. <laughs> <laughs> they just have good taste in movies. So, um, yes, we're doing this commentary just to give you guys a little bit of an insight into the film, how it's made, all that kind of thing. This opening credits here um, is nice. <laughs> <laughs> no way, really? It is. I love the I love the water. It is. The, the, the music's done by Kevin Williams. <laughs> it's in a bank called Noise Control. I've well seen this and, is your uh, first time, isn't it? You would imagine so. Yeah. Yeah. And I actually made the opening credits, cut it to the music. And it was after I got the The song. music is actually beautiful in this movie. That's, yeah. There's, there's definitely something about that. Yeah. The one thing I'm very proud of is the music. Yeah. You got a... Uh, your ex love isn't doesn't she do a lot of the music <laughs> as well? <laughs> your ex, she wasn't your ex. <laughs> Thank when, you. When uh, you were uh, doing uh, the music, uh, uh, the, the musician Huna Healy from the band The Saturdays did a lot of this music. She did half the score. That's when they were Kevin going Williams. with each other. Cheers, Emmy. Yeah. Cheers. <coughs> now I wish I got Yari to do the commentary. <laughs> 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 this here is actually Hope Castle, which is actually where I grew up on as a kid. And we used to sell golf balls here in the back, and the guy who owns the place used to chase us with a shotgun. And I decided it'd be a great idea to try and film in there um, during the day. So we did a lot of chase sequences and stuff there. And he, he didn't. Was that where it all was, was it? Yeah. yeah. You know the way you have your... your oh, no, I got to see a picture of this bird. I shot all this stuff at the back of the cliffs of Hope on New Year's when I was still drunk. New Year's. New Year's I day. think we're coming up to my soon. We're coming to your soon. The opening scene. Oh, yeah. Hang on a second. You have to You have to drink. It's the drinking game. You have to. This is a, a tribute to Daryl Breen, one of Ireland's best comedians. He has a drinking game on his extras, and you have to drink every time something that I say happens that you do. In the I movie. thought I told you to drink every time somebody curses, which is mostly you. No, you have to drink every time your top is off in this movie, or every time you sound like Hannibal Lecter. Eventually, I'll tire of these games. Okay, that that's that's fantastic. Do you think those reels all by yourself? This is Brian Fortune. A uh, very good actor. Brian came in about half the film it was already kind of shot halfway, and uh, cause it was originally a short film and became a kind of featurette. So Emmett introduced me to Brian because Emmett. He's bald there. Look, <coughs> he's bald. <laughs> He'd fucking hate that. <laughs> He'd fucking <laughs> he hate that. <laughs> we, we could we couldn't afford wigs, but uh, yes, yeah, so Emmett introduced me to Brian, and he came on board. And initially, Brian had two or three scenes, but he was so good that I ended up writing a lot of the film around his character and expanding it. Which is what happened with Emmett's. We'll get into Emmett's character later on. <laughs> we won't tell the story. I yet. didn't even have a line at the beginning of this. No, but you made your own lines. No. But we'll get into that. No, we'll and this is, I think, Emmett's best performance. Just, just this actual shot here of his entire career. It's, it is true. It was a fun scene. It was a fun scene. This is in Kilmainham Jail, which. Um, oh. We won't talk about insurance. Famous, famous, famous set for the name of the father. You know what I'm talking about that? Yeah, uh, you can talk about that. No, I'm talking about Kilmainham. Was oh all right, yeah. Other things. It's the famous, it's the famous set for the name of the father. Uh, Jim Sheridan, mm. genius, and Daniel Day Lewis, one of the best mm. actors ever made. One of the best actors ever made. Ever made. Yes. Ever. Yes. True. True. This scene, um, 
we actually shot after I'd actually sliced my wrist open and uh, it was quite painful. Uh, after, was it? Because I remember it was after, sliced up my wrist, pointed in the window and I was kind of dying of blood. And afterwards, afterwards, what was great was you left and left me to bring all the lights home. So I had to pack the car with all the lights and then go. Oh, I think it was and I, no, then I went to hospital on my own with all the lights in the car. Stayed in the hospital for three hours. I know, I couldn't home. stop laughing. I, I just thought it was hilarious that you, you cut your hand on Which is nice. So we left. This is obviously the opening scene of the film. This is probably one of the last scenes shot of the film. Um, this is an incredibly depressing area and a location. If you sit down in the bottom of the dungeons of Comanum Jail on your own, it will suck the soul out of you mm. and make you depressed. Beautiful, beautiful atmosphere. But... Um, and a fucking what a coop just to get the location I think yeah, Brilliant. yeah re really nice guy gave it to me <coughs> Dial, I'm a big big favourite for that this is uh, this is when Fortune used to used yeah, this to is smoke. Brian Fortune's first scene he used to smoke though he yeah, used to smoke. He's, no he's, he's given up he smoked like a fucking trooper there were like 40 a day motherfucker never he just never stopped but he, he stopped he smokes in every single scene in this room. I know, film. Yeah. that's all he does. Probably what. That's what he used to do. We shot this at four in the morning, and this is Brian's first scene ever for the film. And he had a bit of trouble with the lines, mainly because he was freezing his box off. <laughs> he didn't know what the fuck was going on. You wouldn't think it in the scene, would you? No, never. So we shot this at about four in the morning before the sun rose. And we had to do it in like three or four takes because the sun was rising pretty quickly. And poor Moira was pretty cold, so she's good in this scene. I like her in this scene. What, what, what scene isn't she good in? Just <laughs> I didn't say she wasn't good in any scene. Don't start doing I, I, that to me. I just I thought you were getting specific. No, I wasn't. This is my, oh, right. this this is my, my favorite. This is my favorite scene of Moira. I think she's very good in no, this scene. No, that's just my mistake. Sorry. Yeah, it is your mistake. Yeah. I was just wondering. I, I just it seems like a bad idea. <laughs> I think it's a bad idea. I just watch more acting. Do you mean morally bad? Because in that case, I mean, I think the only the only issue that you'd have probably at the final thing was just the sound was a little bit wonky, wasn't it? Yeah, the fucking the generator. Mm. Yeah, well, the problem was with the generator because we had no lights out in the pier, and uh, we had to move the generator around the back of one of the buildings there, but it was still you can still hear pretty loud actually. Yeah. Yeah, which is which is what the main problem. The wind was the problem. I thought that was the wind. No, it was the generator. All right. I made it sound like the wind. You're, you're just Stop. brilliant in so many exactly. levels. <laughs> yeah, that's what your sister said to me. And all you care about is your career. What about other people's feelings? Those close. Take <laughs> I hope somebody watches this. <laughs> I have I've, I've like over 700 DVDs of movies that have inspired me. And I've never watched the director's commentary. But this one's going to be different. That's why you will watch it. No one's going to watch this. They will, because most director's commentaries are boring. These but we're going to make this one interesting, if it's not already interesting. It's brilliant, yeah. What are you doing, Lissandra? Uh, yeah. We're going, going to a party, you? actually, after this. Don't, after don't, this. don't, don't say what party. Make don't make it. Oh, I was going to, like, I wasn't going to drop names. <laughs> <laughs> more subtle than that. It's I'm as right. subtle as chlamydia. I gotta edit that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is another scene of Kamehameha. <laughs> um, this is the first one. No, this is we shot two days in Kamehameha Jail. Um, Jason Figgis shot all this stuff. The first scene and this scene in Kamehameha Jail. The original cinematographer Danny Katz he shot about sixty percent of the movie. Then Jay came in and shot the other forty percent. Danny went off to the states because the movie took about two years to make. Well, a year and a half because it was kind of an on and off thing. So. Uh, yeah, this is the first scene you and Brian together in this film. Wasn't it, it was, yeah. I cherish it. I know he does very much so. He has it on his reel or something like that. He he loves any scenes with me. You know, he's he really, really, really likes me. I think sometimes too much. I heard that. I think you yeah. start you started whistling at the end of that scene, which made no sense because I didn't keep it in. And this is that's, that, that's Steve. That, that's oh, there Chris, you are. Chris start Chris drinking ah. your topless. Here we are, owning a six pack. Look at my butt. It made sense for the movie because. It made the, no sense. It obviously makes sense. I'm not even going to go into the purpose of it because you're just going to take the absolute nick out of me. <laughs> See, this scene. Oh, look at his hair grew. Should I be explaining what actually this reason for this? Nobody scenes? cares. Okay. You just, you just like do the behind the scenes sort of thing. And okay. You don't have to really talk about it. I think that's what makes this the commentary different. That's what Daryl Brain did. Right, but yes. with that, that brings a comedian. This is a serious intellectual film, examining the psychology of um, weak, <laughs> This is great. 
<laughs> there you are, topless, go on. <laughs> Hanging that upside down just like, a bat- like a Batman. scene. Like a Batman. The bad, the bad stuff was good. You Actually, you know what? And I'm gonna throw in the I'm gonna throw in the behind the scenes stuff because Emmett and Brian started J pan the camera around when I was doing that scene, and there's Emmett and Brian pretending to jack off underneath these long coats in the corner, watching me do all this kind of stuff, which was, you know, disconcerting to say the least. That's Yari Jabeth for me, by the way. He's a very good theatre actor. I've done a good bit of film as well. Good friend of mine. Grew up Drink. In college. Top this again. It doesn't even count. It does. This is another scene we I'm shot. bitter. Yes, that's true. <laughs> um, we shot this scene at night time at a friend of mine's house in Navin. Yeah, she was hot. But it was, Laura. Was it Laura, yeah? Yeah, it was Laura. She doesn't like you very much. Yeah. She, she loves me. <laughs> Top this again. Yeah, I, I, look what I'm doing. I'm drinking. Right? Keep going. Oh, yeah. Anyway, that's the window where I cut my hand. I had to cut it out because I broke the window. So I'm probably going to get sued after this. Oh, <laughs> nah, no Bergen. No Bergen for command. Good luck. This part here where he's kicking, at one point, <laughs> at one point <laughs> he kicked so high, he kept himself a somersault and hit his fucking, uh, no, I fell hitting the ground, ground on yeah. your ass. See the mark on his ass? <laughs> it's because he fell just before the last take. It was fucking hilarious. I'll have to troll you. You see the wind blowing off his hair? <laughs> That's because the he window blew. was broken. He punched a hole in the window. This is Carly Sheehan. Obviously, he was in the first scene as well. Muck Savage. Yeah. Muck Savage. Is, uh, Irish for country person. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it for is, Americans, yeah. yeah. It is. Carl was in a film myself and I met the first film we ever did together, Rise of the Bricks. Oh, that's, that's great crack, that was. Yeah, you can, you can probably buy that somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Fearing Ben Keenan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy it off me, you know, on my website, www.emmettjscannon.com. Emmett J. Scannon with two T's. Two T's. <laughs> two T's. <laughs> Here's some shameless plugging. <laughs> so, yeah, so anyway, obviously this, yeah, this is an interesting scene as well. So he's seeing the pictures of Steve on the wall. I can't do this seriously. <laughs> This is actually, this, this is, is from the original. This is the this third day of beautiful. shooting. We shot this new CD and uh, had a few guys in helping to light with this. So you didn't shoot that new CD. You did shoot the new CD. It's the back of uh, Kilmainham. No, that's the back of the Extra Hall's new CD. University College. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was the hallway in Kilmainham. Like no, this, what this, hallway? this is the hallway in Kilmainham. So we had, this is actually shot two different times. This, this part here is the hallway in Kilmainham, which is shot over a year and a half later, after the, or a year later after the initial scene. Fuck off. Yeah. That you know is that. incredible. No, I yeah. didn't, you wouldn't even notice it. No, I know. Um, wow. We shot the back of UCD, actually the back of the lecture halls, and that was the third day when the film was originally a three-day short and Emmett was involved for an hour, which obviously changed. Yes. <laughs> As you can see, it changed when he became involved quite heavily. Yeah. This is Emmett's idea to stroke my ass when he wanted to do this scene. Um, my idea was just him against the wall, and I was like, well, let's, let's make it sexual. I was like, okay. In the original cut, there's a scene with myself and Christian where uh, it shows my latent homosexuality mm. similar to uh, to Christian's, but that was cut. Cause but basically it was a three-page monologue and yeah, it was, it was too long. really boring. It was. It was just no, it was kind of interesting, but it was just, no, it was not just interesting. Go, you know? So this next scene coming up, we, this is the very, very, very first scene shot of the film. So originally, and we had actually the dolly this day, which was great. Yeah, Remember the dolly? Oh, this is the first day, yeah. It was not used. I was I half caught in that. <laughs> yeah. I was, I, I was on the... Emma came in for the start of this film, I said to Emma. The very beginning. The very beginning, because Carl had to leave. The reason why Carl leaves is because Carl actually had to go home. I'm not quite sure why, because we're shooting at night time, but he had to go home anyway. So that's why he leaves. Yeah. Um, and so, so this is when he cut himself out of most of the film because he wasn't there for all these scenes. So because he had to go home and do some sit-ups and eat some broccoli. Probably. So healthy. So anyway, Emmett, I said to Emmett, will you come and do, uh, you know, help me out in this film? Excuse me. And he said, what do I have to do? And I said, well, there's no lines, just playing a guard. And he was like, well, fuck off, I'm shooting with Jay Figures for three crosses. So, got him to come along, so look, dude, if you come along, I'll give you a bottle of whiskey. So, <laughs> he came along, I gave him a bottle of, was it Old Grouse whiskey? I got in trouble, it was my, it was my dad's vintage whiskey. Anyway, was it? Yeah, it was gorgeous. Was so I gave him a bottle of whiskey, brought him along a sleeping bag, and then kind of had to write him in lines and the scene evolved and Emmett talked more than he had to but it worked you know. I would have done that and uh, yeah it worked really well yeah yeah and so in, so in between when we weren't on Emmett Emmett's probably I think you're definitely drunk there 
<laughs> you're, def- you're definitely drunk there anyway. <laughs> Look at your eyes. You're going to- I want to go oh, home. What over. am I doing here? I'm not going to. I'm going to have to sit there through the whole scene. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice it. <laughs> I didn't even know what's going on. I've never oh. seen that before. I never even looked at that. It's because you're too busy looking at yourself. So was I, actually. <laughs> so, Evan. In between shooting, Emma was lying in a sleeping bag asleep. I snored. I was snoring, wasn't I? I, I, I actually interrupted one of the takes. You did. There's about four or five. Take actually, there's about 15. <laughs> you do. Professional. Yeah. After this film. <laughs> what is this? Why am I asleep in the background? <laughs> when there's a psychopathic supposed killer in front of you, you uh, I think I'm match of the day or something. X-Factor. That's incredible. Don't have this is more his first scene, obviously. I made her go through an intensive audition process, and in the audition, <laughs> probably put the audition on this. Though, you know. In the audition, hey, that'd be that'd be, be alright, actually. Yeah. Good Do you have them on the? Yeah. Oh, no, I might have taped that one. No, I should have them. That's yeah, interesting. Anyway, more more audition. Originally, this character was completely different, and I did an improv with about seven minutes with her talking about killing a frog, and that's why I gave her the part because she improvised about the frog as well with me. That's why she got the part. Shim. You started talking to her about killing the frog? Yeah, we did an improv scene, which just kept going, and she that kept going with it. Your phone and mo- mo- a lot of actors won't do improv past the point. They just go with no lines. So she kept on doing the improv. About a frog? Well, no, that was just the, it was just the crux of the story. He's what was the frog? Him, was he was just telling a story about killing a frog when he was younger. Oh, yeah, what I happened? Actually, I can't remember. It was like two and a half years ago or something. Find out about it. It sounds interesting. It actually well, it was interesting. It was. So anyway, because she uh, did the whole, you know, she improv with me, and most people won't improv, and I love people who can improv and go to scene, like Emma can. Um, so I talked to Steve. What? He's is, a very nice young man. This is absurd. I don't even know what this is. <clears throat> you spoke to Steve. Oh. Uh, I want to talk to my lawyer, Mr. Bateman, right now. Steve says he's going to visit. Oh, yeah. <coughs> so yeah, Mr. Bateman, Danny Katz decided he we should put in Mr. Bateman as a reference to American Psycho. To escape from uh, it all. Because Bateman is the name of the guy in American Steve Psycho, so he threw that in. Christian came from you know, Christianity and obviously the references to that. And a kind of a pun on that. I'm not looking for um, an angle, Christian. Oh, was Bates, isn't it? Oh, yeah, no, nice, we got one. Yeah, Bates. Yeah. And then the name Blake. There just seems to be so uh, many claimants of the truth in this case. Went, Charles Blake? There's some but murderer called Blake. In your truth. That kind of made sense. Is there a William Blake? The poet. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, doesn't interest yeah. you. We just made ourselves sound really smart right. there. Good man. I was calm, please tell me he's a poet. You go, no, he's a writer. We shot this on the balcony, because there's a balcony in that place. We had to, we we're meant to repaint the place after we shot there. Were you? Why? I don't know. You didn't do it, did you? We couldn't. Couldn't. Find the time. <laughs> the couldn't paint. find the time of the paint. <laughs> so this next stuff, yeah, this is a... Uh, it's a nice t-shirt, actually. This is like the back of my, back of my house. It's a horrible t-shirt. I like that t-shirt. That's, mom, that'd be my style. Made, my mom made that t-shirt. That'd be your style. Yeah, yeah, that'd be my style. So this is all in the back of my garden and the, the back of my house, the cliffs and the back of the house. I'm going to shoot my next That was movie. like a Wayne's World sort of doo doo was not it? This is Eddie Rockets. We shot in there for three nights. Again, we told him we're going to shoot for one night and that became three. So thank you very much to the guys in Eddie Rockets. Where was this and to Paul and Eddie Rockets. That was in the dark room in um, uh, Temple Bar, you know, the, the photo gallery there. Right. Back in the dark room there. That was, in, that was shot in Temple Bar. Christina's right. very good in this, you know what I mean? She's got some some, some good, solid scenes. She's a very good actress. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, have to say, yeah, yeah. I, I know, I, I, this is my first time I've ever seen her, you know? She hasn't really much of she's very good then. I have a lot of time for her. There's the Hapenny Bridge, famous bridge in Dublin, city centre, our hometown, so please come on over, we'll, we'll show you around. Or you go to Leash. Unless we're in the States. <laughs> you go to Leash. Leash, nobody goes to Leash. <laughs> don't, go to Leash. Just, don't go to Leash. <laughs> don't, go, don't go to Leash and ride horses. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> that, that's an insider joke. It is funny if you get it. You know, so, this is where Liam Campbell, the guy who loves Campbell stills, Bart. Campbell Bart. Liam Campbell taught me how to develop uh, film pictures. Actually, did take pictures of this when she did develop them here. Um, and I still don't know what to do. So, he taught me how to If you look at the clock, the clock's actually completely right. Because <laughs> <No. laughs> <clears throat> Maybe it does there, that's about it. So. This actually cut away Jay Figgis shot for a completely different movie, but I needed a few cutaways, so Jay gave it to me. <laughs> Serious? <laughs> I was too lazy. No, not too yeah, lazy. Yeah, this, this, I like this scene. I like this scene. This, this is my parents' bedroom. Retirement. 
Oh, that's just wrong. My mom and dad are away, and when they eventually saw this oh, film, no, why did it move in your parents' bedroom? Yeah, we're not going to talk about that. It's about human trafficking. Shh. Wow, so you make me sound like a really bad person with no respect <laughs> whatsoever. The first time, check it out. <laughs> www. They're not looking at that film. Hey, don't look at that. I'm gonna cut that in. I'm in control. I can edit whatever I want. Yeah, baby. You can't edit this. It has to be continuous. You have to nah, keep in the flaws. I'm gonna try behind the scenes stuff. No, there's love in the flaws. There is love in the flaws. Anyway, this is no. Listen, I, I know Christine is gonna kill me for this, but the two of them just didn't stop kissing, and they both gone out with people. <laughs> and and I'm sorry, but but you know we'd stop shooting, and we just wouldn't call it cut. But they just keep kissing. Yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't think you got them in trouble at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty well, that well, nice <laughs> it. Text me the things. I'll say the bad shit. All right. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I like this scene simply as a, as an acting piece. I just like. I think it's very days. subtle. I haven't seen him in a was it scripted or was it improv? It was all scripted. It was, scripted. Yeah, it was, it was good. It was there was good. actually no improv in that scene at all, which is which is what's good it's because they made it. It's good writing, yeah. Yeah, they made it very natural. Get rid of that logo, good sure. man. What's up? That was not what I was trying to do at all. But I'm glad it worked out. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, you, you give good head. Give us that. Give us that. Give us that. That's for me. No, the the, the, the coke. Okay, sorry. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Getting, getting rid of the logo. Give me the Coke. <laughs> no, Coke's, Coke's generic. Oh, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah it okay. doesn't matter. Yeah. Whatever. But you see, when I finish this, I'm on the vodka. That used to stick with the beers. Why did I buy six? And I don't even want that many. I bought them for you. You said buy a beer. I know. I meant vodka. I meant whiskey. Okay. Something Thank, thanks, hard. Thanks, for, thanks for clarifying. I'm, it's easy to get that mixed up. Hard and strong. I have to put the chair between us again. <laughs> he probably just thinks that. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello? You got it? Yeah. <clears throat> Make sure it's not, it's not in shots. We look professional. Just broke my watch. Yeah, see there, look, they're kissing again, and this is not, I didn't, I didn't say kiss or roll on over <laughs> on top of her. It was like, you know, we'll do whatever you want. But again. Uh. Take your liberties, you know. <clears throat> take after take. I wonder why Donald kept forgetting his lines, getting them mixed up. We gotta do that again. This, <laughs> this is where you're my masturbating. Gra my granny. Over Donald. My, right? and, yeah. You're, you're masturbating. Well, it's meant to be. You meant to be like he masturbates while he talks to him on the phone. Mm. Like, yeah, yeah. No, I yeah, get yeah. you. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's okay. Well, I wasn't sure if you did. This, this is where you're wanking, isn't it? Yes. And Gav and Danny, were, you know, were filming and lighting and stuff, and um, Gav wasn't too happy about it. My aunties asked my mom. You know what I'm saying right now? Your sex face. That's what I'm saying. No, that's my acting face. <laughs> that's, my act, that's my acting sex now face. Now I think of all your ex girlfriends <laughs> and current girlfriends, and I'm saying that's what they see. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, right? I'd be scared shitless. <laughs> it's not my sex face at all, okay? It's much. It's as though you want to kill them. <laughs> that This is again a shot I did on New Year's. That's when beautiful, I, I, isn't I, it? I was drunk. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, beautiful. I know the dolphins. I brought my dogs out. Three in the morning, <clears throat> the sun rose, and I thought I should get. I need some nice shots here, and uh, I went to the back, still hammered, and walked around for five hours. Had a cold, and after that, someone's died. Walked around, filmed a lot of stuff. Because you wouldn't really stand out there in the middle of you know, two, four, 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 four or five in the morning, freezing cold. It was that beautiful. I was. Well, that's true. Yeah, that's at the back of my house. <clears throat> but yeah, that scene, my aunties thought I was weird and actually asked my mom that I have issues I needed to deal with because of the masturbation scene. I thought it's no problem. It made sense. Mate, it makes sense. Like, yeah. It's just a shot. Really like, it's like, it's really, really hard for me to watch. Yeah, it's a shot right <laughs> so, <clears throat> unfortunately, we had to cut out a lot of the, ed ed cut out a lot of the Eddie Rocket it's stuff because uh, it was shit. shit. <laughs> it was shit. No, this it was, was great. Crap. No, I had a really good monologue, but the sound you was saved bad. It, you saved it with a fucking edit, <laughs> but it was generally just. Um, it's a bit kind of TV series, isn't it? But I know, I know what you wanted to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> not even I'm gonna no, say that. You're not gonna say that. <laughs> don't, please don't. <laughs> uh, 
Anyway. She's cute. What's her name? Fiona Ryan, living in England at the moment. Oh shit, I did a sex scene with her. You did do a sex scene in a completely different film. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were joking. Oh, I'm serious, man. And he was like, you were only talking about it yesterday. Yeah, we were talking about that. Yeah, yeah, you Lovely wanted to guy. see it, didn't you? Yeah. No, I did not say that. <laughs> I love the way you turned that back around on me. Because she's engaged, Emmett said it makes her much more attractive. That so. wink, that wink, right? That took Donald, I'm sorry, Donald, man, but listen. That took Donald about 12 takes to get the bloody wink. Had get to keep wink. doing the wink. It was like, Donald, answer. can you flirt with the girl? Hey, Donald, flirt with her. Flirt with her. No, he couldn't do it. That was bad, wasn't it? Anyway, he couldn't do it, so. But it, it's a long time. time. But it, on take 13, he got it. No, I barely. Just Did you, was that CGI to in or? CGI, yeah, it's been all the, been all the nine it's grand crazy. budget on Donald's awesome. wink. Crazy. He couldn't do it, you know, it was integral to the script. This well, is so actually my old bedroom. I he took a bill in the first films me and Emma did, well, second film me and Emma did together. Yeah. Rick Larkin directed that, nice bloke, good director. But, yeah. Where the fuck were you going with that? What, what, what the, what, is this room? Because it was in my old bedroom. It was just, you know, talking about what's happening in the film, you know? Yeah, no, so no, originally, no. obviously, it wasn't written this way. I edited it this way. So it made sense. <coughs> yeah. And that's Bosco. Oh, Bosco. Look at the guy in the background pouring stuff with the long hair. You see the guy in the background? He'll be in at the end of the movie getting killed against a car. That's one of my good friends, Bosco. We call him Bosco because he's a fucking Muppet. Okay? <laughs> Bosco is a famous Muppet in Ireland. And he is just... He's unbelievable. He's great crack to go out with at night, but he is just weird as fuck. Steve was naked in this shower, by the way. There's Rain. There's Rain She Kelly. Rain She Kelly, one of the best uh, hotel, um, airport security guy. <laughs> airport security guy. He's got a voice too. We see C released a single, didn't he? He did actually. He did yeah, he's, got a, he's got a good, good he made, voice. He made a top 95 in Ireland. Well, I'm small, I think it's called. <laughs> and the other guy is Jose Montero. Jose, he's everywhere. Jose. Is it Jose or is it Jose? It's Jose. Oh, Jose. Okay. Jose, yeah. Jose. There's Bosco again in the background. Check him out. The reason why Bosco was in there is because he's a nice guy and then it was able to have, I was able to have him in the end of the film because he didn't really know this one. He once else. asked me, what do I put in my hair? What's a good product to put in my hair? And as a joke, I was talking to Macken at the time on the phone. I said, as a joke, we'll say vegetable oil. He came in the next no, day I told filming. Him, did I tell the, you told me to say it, wasn't it? Oh no, yeah, yeah. No, I, told, I, I, I said vegetable oil, he didn't believe me, I got Macken to tell him <laughs> vegetable oil. He came in the next day, his hair greased back, and like, the smell of fried fat on his head was incredible. He's just brilliant. Just what a Bra job. Brilliant is one way of describing him, alright. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying he's Bosco's just brilliant. way too much airtime in this commentary. He is he way is. too much airtime. This is Donald Patterson. He has his own talk <laughs> show. his own talk show. Like Ryan Tuberty, I um, didn't say oh, any names there. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I cut myself before I got it. I'll just drop the level down. <laughs> a, a lot of these photographs... Like, <laughs> a lot of these photographs are actually already in the dark room. There's, there's like, the picture of the two kids, I have no idea who that is. It was oh, just where's this? There. He finds this picture of these two kids. Oh yeah, it's meant to be me and him, but I don't know who it is. It was just, you know... Yeah. Oh, it's an interesting scene. I quite like it, actually. Yeah, it is quite interesting, actually. I mean, what would you do, you know? You're just... You know, going about your own business and then your best mate, you see all these just private nice. pictures of your best mate are taken of you. It's not kind of what happens with you and me. In fact, most people you work with, they have pictures of you doing things all the time. Or is that just when you take yourself and you send them? So that, is that I, I, I send them okay. to everybody. I just wasn't sure if that was the same thing. No, yeah, that's the, okay. it's the naked ones. Yeah. yeah. We should clarify that for people. Sure, yeah, I know. Sure. Sure. <laughs> See, I graded that red, black, red, black, red, black, white. It was a Graham that said he loved all that shit. I think so. It was a Graham, yeah. <laughs> So this is actually in UCD. <clears throat> this is the third day. This is actually the same day. Is it UCD? Yeah. It's well, locker room UCD. I thought it was in that school that I went to. No, no, no. It's a different school. We shot in UCD for this school and then also in St. Patrick's College. Movies are like 
magic. They are like magic. You just have to connect the dots. See, it's not even the same locations, like 50 miles apart. Well, no, Dublin's not that big. Seven miles apart. And about 10 months later. It's not long. Thanks for that, isn't it? So this is my favourite scene visually. This is the one we spent the longest lighting um, with Gavin and, and the other Gavin from film is. Oh, yeah, right. Then Danny. Gavin, like, he's in the tall uh, dude with the skinny yeah. dude with the glasses. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, no yeah, way. Did he work on this yeah, as well? Just, 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 just one day. Did a number of they, projects they, with that guy. Nice guy. This ridiculous motherfucker. Incredibly sad. Well, that's why we, we only actually got to do this scene in like three takes before <coughs> we actually got kicked out because it was a Sunday and they're closing. And this scene and the previous one we saw in the corridor was the one we spent the longest lighting in the whole film. Like actually took our time. You know, a lot, a lot of the stuff we're trying to shoot four or five scenes in a day because we shot on weekends. Probably shot on weekends, and it kind of didn't really have a. I thought that I was including you and the weed. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, I was. Like, <laughs> I tuned out completely when I know it is. So I was, uh, I was too busy looking. I was looking at my beer glass going. Was it always that dirty, or is that my? I don't, I don't know if the glass was dirty or not. Isn't it a nice scene with Donald and Christine? Isn't it? It's a lovely scene. It's a lovely scene. Lovely. They, really, they really got on well. <laughs> yes, they did. When she had a boyfriend. I think she's back with him. Oh, really? Better not send it as a DVD. Better not watch the <coughs> But it's all acting. They never kissed outside of, outside of the film. Yeah, it's all acting. It's it's all part acting. of our job because yes. I know that when I'm in a scene with a woman who's really hot and you know, I have to kiss her or have sex with her, it's 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 all acting. I can't, dude. You do realize there's a repercussions in a couple of years' time when we're both in relationships. Fucking yes, yes, I forgot about that. Yes, it, no, genuinely, it's all acting. Like, all acting. Like, you know, there's it? never any chemistry. No, no, no there's you don't, never. Chemistry. You don't. You've no chemistry or sexual you attraction. You can't, you can't have can't. sexual attraction. It's impossible. How would, would you have any sex attraction? Your sexual girlfriend? attraction. Yeah, you, ha you have it to goes. imagine your girlfriend at the time, don't oh, you? Of, or even if you don't have one, you just imagine. Imagine you're like your mum. Your mum or your. You do, and you don't want to do it. In fact, I usually refuse to do those kind of scenes. You obviously refuse to do those kind of scenes. Yeah. Five minutes <laughs> I've got some extra rope next <laughs> next door. <laughs> Do you want to go splitsies on this chocolate? Yeah. So originally, actually, Christian was actually listening to this conversation, but I cut it out because it would just yeah. that, look at that shot. That, that is shot, beautiful, that beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Danny came up with an inspired shot for that. Well done, Danny. Good hand. Well done, Danny. Shot. <laughs> So this is actually thanks to Danny's mom, Brenna, we were allowed to shoot in St. Patrick's College. Um, stuff looks really nice, it's just a lovely college. Oh, right, nice. this is all money now. What you're about to see here, actually, I gave you a little bit of advice on this edit for this particular scene, actually, didn't you? And you took that on board and it made it even stronger. I took it on board, I did. You did, remember we said we'd keep you away from it? Anyway, my point is this. Um, this is my favorite sequence in the whole movie. And yes, I'm not even in it. But there, there there's Dylan Townsend, Dylan Townsend. Guy did a documentary, which I will He did frozen. the behind the scenes, his brother Stuart. Right? So we have uh, this up until the death scene is just any director, in my opinion, would be proud of this edit and with the music and does Una start singing in this part, doesn't this it? This is all Una's music. Yeah. Now this is this yeah, is great. Una Healy did the whole instrumental music. And Kevin Williams produced it. Um, actually, we haven't talked about music enough, actually. But, 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 but they're all with actually. The fact is, you'll see Lara McCann in here. That's Georgia Sapa, the big Irish model. Lara McCann was there previously. She's Karina's a huge, in she, here as well. She's Karina gorgeous. Karina in there too. Lara McCann's a big model in New York at the moment. DKNY. And is she? Yeah, doing a lot of stuff. Was that the one I just said is cute? Yeah. <clears throat> She's only 16 then, motherfucker. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> but, anyway, but anyway, but anyway, Una wrote the whole score for this, which is which changed the whole sequence. And then Kev produced it. And it's uh, so name ready. Elaine Reddy. She was in the first movie I directed. She's a nice woman. She was in cinema, wasn't she? She was in cinema. Yeah. Cinema. www.emmajscanlon.com Emmajscanlon.com <laughs> Cinema. <laughs> That's why not. I love this. That's why not. This is great. <laughs> That's great, Kevin. We should do this every day. Let's yeah, do, yeah. Hey, let's do it for like... Just make up movies and, stuff, and just yeah. start doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Little girl there is Amber Jean Rowan. Very nice girl. Really good actress too. She's only 14, but I think... Legally, you're only allowed to keep people under the age of 18 for a certain amount of hours, so obviously, we adhere to that completely. You, you kept it there for a week and a half? No, right? we completely adhere to the legislation regarding underage actors um, and time 
Seven dice. Why are you looking like that? I'm not saying anything that's going to occur. She's only 14. She's <laughs> very good, though, isn't she? Very good, actually. That's very the good. thing with kids. What I love about kids is that they're always open and available for all that sort of shit, you know? Yeah. None of this preconceived bullshit. This is great. What the fuck are you doing? Check up by Michael Doyle. This scene actually um, was improv Why do you look so scared? because Nothing. I decided I was going to do this um, when we got there. And I figured it would flow better. That must have scared the shit out of Christina. Pretty much. <laughs> Which is good though. That'll just add to it. It's a good director's thing, to, I suppose. Yeah, no. yeah we were, I thought it. I thought to our performance. Or some of these scenes and some of the some of the way we did this film because a lot of it was done off the cuff um, and it kind of grew organically. I thought, especially with this scene. We, need, we just did it a couple of times to see how it, kind of, how it grew and what worked. And this is what worked with both of us. So it was better just to have a kind of sparse dialogue. So your final exam Here we go. All of the topics that we have covered we have to make, when the music starts kicking in, I'm just like, fucking nice. <laughs> and I, lo I, lo I love this, like, um, my Captain Oh Fucking Captain, Dead Poet Society shit, where he just says, I'm going to the toilet, and he just walks out of the classroom. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love that shit. Yeah, yeah, it's great. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great. Dead Poets Society. Now, Great I tell man. you, Danny overshot Amber. I think Danny made Amber do that take about 19 times. I was going, why do we need like 19 takes with half an hour footage of Amber, like, you know, on the toilet seat? I think he just. Uh, and Liam Campbell took <laughs> a million stills of her. I'm like, she's gorgeous. But anyway. <clears throat> so, yes, we had a lot of people in the, in the classroom. That was pretty fun. I was sitting on the roof trying to think directly. That was a lot of fun. Tell you anyway, I was doing like pretty people. You were there, I think, weren't you? Yeah, no, you, yeah. You were, I was, you, were, no, I was, you were picking up somebody, weren't you? Screen out or something, maybe? Did I pause it? Yeah, you did. Well, what are you doing? Whoa. What happened now? Okay. Press. Now our film is paused. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck happened? I don't know. Kind of skipped. What do we do? What do we do? Anything. Press, go back, maybe. Try, did I, try, did try, I do try, something? Try, 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 skip scene. Try, go back. This? No. What's that? Yeah, if you want to make a DVD. Go back. Just, 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 yeah, go, just pull it back. Try, go back. Now press play. So the DVD seems to have stopped. <laughs> Quality. When you buy this DVD... <laughs> It is will be of the utmost quality, I guarantee you. Uh, you can buy it in any good uh, bootleg stores for uh, eighteen. You do realize I'm not going to put any of this on it, so you're wasting your breath. See, that's gold. Oh, that's yeah, the type of shit is, I would it, put on. Yeah, it is because the DVD has stopped working. It skipped. So let's. Just I think. I, I think. I think it's just not. <clears throat> but something with your computer. Maybe. It's crashed. Maybe, yeah, yeah, that's just computer. Not responding. Windows being clear, not responding. It, it, ha it does that sometimes when it's cool. overloaded. Okay. Well, Hang on a second. I was, just, I was in a flow with something I was going to say there as well. And will I close it and we go back yeah, to it? Yeah, close it, just take it out, we go back to it. I'll just, I'll just do a cut or something. So we're going to cut and come back to you once we put the DVD in again because then it's computer's crap. No, you can you can keep you can keep this stuff. This stuff this stuff will be gone. This, this, this will be like you and me. No, no, no. But it's gonna go over the actual I know, yeah, previous but, stuff. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but then right, no, no. Because right now we got like don't leave me alone. Full screen yeah, us. But don't leave me alone. Is oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, that's like, don't oh. leave me alone. Which which. Is anyone else gonna find this amusing? Is it just us? Everybody. Okay, you gotta go skip scene. Yeah, I know. Just do, just do that thing now. Because there should all be scene selections on this. Uh, okay.
Okay, just go to main menu and just pick a thing. Where's main menu? What do I? Right. To main. Oh, here. We're on chapter seven. Yeah. It's just gone straight to chapter seven, not responding. Hang on a second. I'm gonna show you something here. Just, just take it out, put it back in. I have, I have another one downstairs. I have one as well. Rubbing it in your trousers, that's gonna help. What time is it? Was well, that one with a sticker or, or not? It's only half six. Jeez, it is. I'm not getting there for seven. No, oh, God, no. Can I get there for like half eight? We got, we got, we're cool. Around an hour and a half. If something starts at seven, you're there around half eight or so, right? Oh, I love <coughs> Brian Fortune. Okay, go, go to Steen's I love Brian! Go to Steen's lecture. He's like my dad, granddad. <laughs> When's Brian's 70th birthday? Um, <laughs> two years from now. Why isn't this working? <laughs> so it's just. What's wrong with your computer? <laughs> Never realize how long the sun takes to start until you really want it to start. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Hang on a second. You gotta love chapter selections. I need to figure that out a bit. Not even to say that. Then I just hold it down and fast forward, I guess. Because I, I didn't think put in another chapter selection during this scene. <coughs> yeah, you know, we'll typical that it start crashes on the fucking. My favorite scene, my yeah, favorite sequence. Exactly. When you're being the most respectful you've ever been in your life, which is uh, quite interesting. Yeah, I'm good that way. Mm, true. Just keep holding it down. Let's go past it. We'll go, go past the actual point just in case. As soon as it could be a specific. Do you want to talk on fast forward? Evan speaks multiple languages. He is multilingual. Here we go. So we're back in action. Um, this is obviously this scene was originally a longer extended scene where I just cut it into this moment because it just was too long. And the main thing was with this film was making sure that it, that, uh, it flowed. So a lot of extra scenes are kind of chopped down. I'm not gonna bore you with that. You make some vodka, in here. vodka beer and coke. Wow, this is weird. So yeah, Chloe Townsend did the makeup for this scene. Chloe Townsend did the makeup for uh, the film, along also with Susan Kenny, and uh, both fantastic makeup artists. Made a lot of Section blood here. So Chloe's cool. cool. Chloe's very cool. She had a lot of fun doing this, throwing the blood. This is my sister here, Freya, the girl on the right there. Freya, cool. Very, very nice girl. Obviously, she's my sister. Obviously, very nice girl. <laughs> and she's actually a really good actress, but she's no interest really in acting as far as it were. But she's very natural. Yeah. In just those two lines, you can tell her. Yeah, just because she's so chill, basically. Which is one of the most important things being an actor is just having the confidence to do it and just like, being able to be yourself and be relaxed. Wouldn't you be? Again, wasn't this it? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we covered that bathroom and anyway, let's watch it, man. This is it, yeah, yeah, let's watch it. Yes, Stephen. I just love the song. No, not right now. I'm in the middle of explaining an exam structure. <laughs> I'm all getting this taken down. Do you always want to Stephen, release this song? what are you doing? What is your request? <laughs> Should release it. Sit down mm. Myself and Una wrote this together. Stephen! Yeah, the music video is the one that's on there. The oh, you have to know what the happened to me. Who's that? It's mom.
<laughs> you just ruined the vibe there. Movies would be nothing without music. That's true. No, that's very true. But one thing, like the people who did the music for this, Kevin, Anuna Healy, and John Fahey, and Ian McSweeney, and Al Breslin, the music was integral to this film. I know them all, you know. I edited a lot of it to the music. It's incredibly important. There's always debate on which one's more. Is it 50-50? Is, is, is the music in a film, or is, it the image, is the image more important than the music? Or is the music more important? The image is definitely 50-50. They have to go together. I think the most important thing is it doesn't it, it give a shit. I think that's really important. Yes, yes. Thanks for that insight, Emma. <laughs> I think it. I'm sorry. Emma teaches film and acting classes, by the way, if you want to go to them. Check it out on www.emmajscannon.com. <laughs> With two T's. With two T's, yeah. Back to Emmett C. Now, he was definitely hammered during this. Oh, yeah. He would definitely have Lincoln. No. She's struggling. Think, I think it just really no one. Sex face again. <laughs> sex face again. It's a good. Hey, listen. So it's turning you on, right? As you can see, because you're pissed off, it just woke you up. That's why you look pissed off. You're going, I'm going to kill him for this. He was still alive. To drag you out of the, drag you out of the, the bloody yes. sleeping bag. She mark. was still alive. Yeah. She was still alive when I rammed her skull against the cold, hard enamel and her face. Hey, anyway, my one thing is I wish I let this a tiny bit better. <clears throat> this is the very first scene, so I wish it had been a bit more contrasty. It's a tiny bit dark, so I couldn't play around with the colours as much as I would have liked it. Well, at this stage, you thought it was a short. Well, that's true. At this stage, it was a short. It was all, uh, the film actually came from this scene. This whole scene is where the whole film came from. Um, so it all grew because of how well this scene Evil. came out, in my opinion. And I decided to make it longer. You have very similar eyes. This is actually the first scene I ever directed. Your sister and you. Yeah, you were. Uh, Owen was like backstage before, like backstage. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Owen was uh, like in the other room before takes, looking at abortions and shit on on pieces of paper to get in character, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, some crazy. I mean, we're talking disgusting, but I, horrific I tried, shit. Well, it was a weird character, so I was doing weird stuff. I looked at very weird pictures, and then at the back, before we walked in the room, Carl and Emma started making jokes. So I wanted them all to stay in character instantly walked in, as opposed to kind of walking in and then getting into character. So I made sure they all stayed in character by kind of talking to them in character, which worked. But there was some my sister's friends there, and I spoke to them. In character because they were messing around, they were helping out, moving stuff. Oh, fuck, I forgot about all They left because I turned around to them in my Christian voice and said, What are you guys doing? Stop. And then they left and they haven't talked to me since. And they gave out to my sister saying I was weird. You are fucking weird. That's not cool. I was just telling them to stop talking. These photographs took my house. German Collins took these photographs. Halfway through shooting, I realized, oh my god, I don't have any photographs. So I think I rang Donald and said, Donald, come out here, we need to shoot a photograph. It's five in the morning. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I'd never do that, though. And Emmett, did you hit me? You did probably hit me. Didn't you? I know, I hit you. Yeah, yeah you yeah. did hit me, yeah. yeah. I asked you to, didn't I? Or did you just do it? Well, no, I, I mean, he goes. I was hitting you with the baton pretty fucking hard. Yeah, well, it's the only way it works. Well, you, that's Cause cause I mean, you wanted it that way, though. No, I, I, I think it has to be done that way, in my opinion. But Brian wouldn't hit me earlier on in that opening scene. I asked him to. I took He's a gentleman. Him. He is. I'd be happy to fucking hit you all the time. I know you would. Yeah. Says Carl. Carl came back. Oh, back into the Now oh, you got a drink. You just use a bit of bad language. This is a girl called Liliana. Emmett improv this next line. I would never write that. Ever. <laughs> there wasn't even a line in that scene. <laughs> I was doing. I don't I think was, there's even lines in this scene, and Emma just made I, up. I, 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 did, I didn't want to be. There, there's no redeeming factors in my character, and I wanted them to be just the epitome of scum, and that is scum. To say that. 
much. And she she was pretty fucking shocked with it too. She yeah. was very shocked with it. She was shocked with it. Everyone else was shocked. But with it, it. actually, that line at the premiere of the movie, that line got the biggest laugh. It's not, I know because it did, every, didn't it? because everyone knew you, and they saw Emma calling somebody a cunt, and they're like, oh my no, god. No, it was just so it. unexpected. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It was like it, 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 it was no, it wasn't even necessary for the movie. It was just like, what the fuck. Well, ha- having a female gardener was unnecessary. That that, that was yeah. my form of sexual equality. Oh, the nice. fact there's female it. guards in in the jail, and then also she's the one who lets them out to show the feminine, female side, the sensitivity as opposed to masculinity exuded by the man. Shut so. up. <sighs> College is a bad idea. So here's the Ari again. The Ari loved doing this scene, which is strange. But you can see he takes pleasure in it. You know that, yeah. He's good in a pretty Listen to that Dublin accent <laughs> coming, out, coming out of his mouth. The Dublin accent. This this ripped black <laughs> specimen, and he and he and all he goes is like, "What's your story?" and stuff like that. It's brilliant. That is to show you just what? fucking careful where you go with this. Uh, that that is absolute. That, that makes the fucking the world is like a United Colors of Benetton ad. Bitch. <laughs> Like everything, I'm like, we're, we're all we're all in love with each other in every single way that we're all becoming one fucking person eventually. So guess what? <laughs> one person eventually. I'm not gonna touch him. Oh. No, you're gonna touch him. How long do we have left in this town? Eleven minutes. And there's Emmett again. You keep appearing in this film. You don't want to rush everything you do now, do you? We're thinking of having a sequel. <laughs> we're, not, we're not telling you the story for the sequel, but the sequel involves my character and Emmett's character, to, obviously. Um, because do you remember in Dar- Daredevil? If anyone's ever seen Daredevil with Colin Farrell, get it out, okay? It's a class movie. Daredevil with Colin Farrell, right at the end of the credits, you think Colin Farrell's dead and it cuts to him in a, in a hospital bed. I was just saying at the end of these credits, it cuts to me in a hospital bed. Can, can, next, I, can, oh. can I interrupt you? Laura, whose house this was, actually offered us sandwiches in this this house. I think you were the only one that took them because you fancied her, wasn't it? Because you went into. I didn't you, fancy you, her. You, you went into. <laughs> Same thing, though. No? I didn't fancy her. I mean, she's a nice girl, you know. And she was she was flirting with me, and I was like, easy, you know. <laughs> I'm kind of seeing someone at the moment. She's she kind of cute, but she, she, she was. Stop. She was don't majorly coming on to me. Don't say it to get me in trouble. She was like, she was like, would no, you like some? Was not. Would you like some she butter? And she'd would lean over not. like this. Yes, and I'd be like, whoa. <laughs> I'd be like, Sarah. What's her name again? Laura. <laughs> Laura. I'd be like, no way, man. My mate's you're here. Only, I had to stay in you're character. You're the only one who went into the kitchen to have sandwiches with her. They were good sandwiches. She did make a lot of sandwiches. At five in the morning. Oh, the here. Place. This is you actually this headbutt this good, guy. I did headbutt this guy. This guy actually. There's Ben Keenan. There's Ben Keenan, director of Rise of Bricks, myself and Emmett Colleran. We talked about it earlier on. Great film, fun film. That guy there, Brendan Darcy, is a photographer. He did a lot of stills for the film, and uh, one of the takes I actually did headbutt him, and he was. Where, you see that headbutt? You, you don't miss the sincerity. I mean, I was there behind the scenes. I heard the crack. Yeah. Of skull. And he was fucking, he got up and started laughing. But he, he was out for like 30 seconds, didn't he? Was he, he out? He was out. He was lying there. Yeah. Oh, this is my death scene. Like, this this, makes is, this really is Emma's sad. death scene. I love this. This is a great death scene, though. I yeah, love I this know, scene. Yeah, this is my favourite scene in the I film. I should have stayed. Yeah, I should have kept... Ideally, it, no, it makes it, sense. No, honestly, that was. It one, all makes sense. It was one of the things I regret most was killing off Emma's character here. I should have killed off. It's most people's regret. Someone else, um, because it made more sense to have Emma still in it. Wow, you can't pour beer for shit. Yeah, well, I was in the middle. I'm concentrating here somewhere on your death. Niall Bresen did the music for this beautiful piano. Did he? Yeah. Fuck off. Oh, Bresen, yeah, Bresen from the Blizzard. Beautiful piano piece. Here we go. Watch this. this is... <laughs> And Emma did hit me, by the way. Get him. Go on, kill him. I think we had to do and, this. We had to do like five own, minutes, own, uh, I did hit him, and Owen, to get me back, licked my fucking head. Hey, it worked in character, right? Worked in character. Thing I, 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 I want to. I want to point something out here. Imitation is the greatest form of flattery, and, and, I, and I can't take full credit for this particular death scene where I go. 
I actually stole it off the guy from uh, Terminator 2. Remember the, I don't remember his name, that black guy who was the, had the where he was dying, it was the most one of the most beautiful death scenes and he had the fucking detonator like this and he was like <laughs> No, I don't remember that actually. And then it's ting, and the whole thing. Oh, was that you got from? Yeah. So you mean you weren't being natural, you're actually imitating somebody. No, I was, so oh my you, God. So you, you were copying. I was inspired by you that. You were copying somebody. Yes. You, weren't, you weren't even acting. What are you licking? Because my fucking I don't head know. For. We did about six takes. It's the only one I licked your head from. And it just, I'm, I, by the way, thank you for not reacting and from staying in character. I always stay in character. That's, that's ridiculous. Th this is where we you, show, what, you actually <laughs> licked my hairline as well. We can't like well, what's left of it, it anyways? It, 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 it was the, it was the oil, you know, the cooking oil tasted nice. Yeah. <laughs> so we shot this in the back of Hope Castle. I figured Gates for St. Lawrence would shoot us. He did. This is Pob, a really good friend of mine. who grew up with him, ran my road, went to school with him. And I said, dude, I said, uh, do you want to play next? And he's like, yes. And look, I need to, I'll throw you <laughs> I, need to I need to drown you. This pond is filled up rats, and I actually sliced my foot open, which I'll show you. Um, and I thought I was going to die and Andy Cruz this guy here in the black jacket saved me with some great medical attention Cruz is a great book but oh, does he Bob, a medical thing? Bob you can't even see past your like fingernail that palm and Bob was happy to lie in it and drown so not many people would have done that so I have to say fair play to him <clears throat> Look at that look at that all the guards are like 12 years <laughs> they're, 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 they're all your mates that was a girl I know. <laughs> okay. That's what I said. Good old crazy. Crazy. Guards is a, uni, a unisexual. Crazy. 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 I would have preferred to have all the yeah. guards, but because of the way the film has been made, I... It's cheap, man. You can't... Yeah. 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 I couldn't have... Yeah. 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 That's the way it was. Okay. So that's my Sweeney did some of the music. That's just a hot girl from Morgan, she's a model called Kristen from Australia. I basically got her in the film because she was hot. You were fucking close to Sabrina the director. That's my mom's car, which is no longer in use because JG burned the crap out of it. He doesn't have to rev it properly. Simon Kenny, another friend of mine. I wonder if that would be a Now I did actually smack him. I um, actually brought him with broke his nose and he's a model for his career. And actually took a chunk out of his nose with that thing. Did you? Yeah, yeah, because we were doing the spinning thing. And he, um, he was like, hey, just spin. And I was like, okay. So I did, I did the spin, like the spin around, but the cold jacket thing spinning. And he sat up after he jumped over me. And I sat up and he went, like, smack and took the lump out of his nose. This is in someone's garden in the back of the house, so cheers for that, by the way. <laughs> Whoever you are. Thanks for allowing us invade your property. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice and um, exploit it. Not, not that mean, it's blinking. Does that mean we need to change the tape? In five minutes. Five minutes, sure. We we'll change the tape in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fun scene to do as well. Um, me and JG just beating the crap out of each other. It's like a poor man's version of the born identity. Or old pink man. Or what? Point break. Point break is the surfing shit. Yeah. When did you start killing people in point break? How did you chase? Over water and shit. <laughs> Ooh. This cliff, by the way, was almost a sheer drop. We used to go and fuck off. We used to go swimming there. And, you know, we were actually peasant at climbing down it. And we were so close to the one down to the cliff. And we didn't quite get across that red right shot. We did jump into the water here. This was a lot of fun. Yeah, but how, how high was it? The water jump? Yeah. Like 100 feet or so. Yeah, it doesn't even show it, does it? I mean, it's about 6 feet. Is it? Yeah, it's about 18. Uh, yeah, it's about that. Does that not come across in the film how high it is? No. It looks like it's around 10, 2 feet. 10, 2 feet. Like to... This is your uh, so uncle, right? It's my uncle from America, where he lives in America. Mates of Jim Sheridan. Everything's under control. Is he right? Yeah, he grew, grew up doing theatre with John Arden. Jim Sheridan's a fucking legend. I don't know where you're he grew gonna up gonna doing theatre with John Arden and well, went to college with Jim, did a lot of theatre with him in the 70s. So, there is a situation. so Frank had acted well with but Brian, this is actually my dad's office. God rest his soul. Um, oh, fuck off, rush! I wanted to shoot. Oh, fuck off. Yeah. I wanted to shoot something in my dad's office, um, so I did in December. Of a year and a half ago. He's a good so, actor. I, I just, I just like he's just so minimalistic. Who, Frank? Or Brian? Your uncle. Oh yeah, yeah. He's a very good actor, and he's a sarcastic, 
Yeah. Cult, in, in a, I think is what oh, I can't right. use that word. You, oh, it's yeah. an 18s fucking <laughs> movie, man. This is 12s. <laughs> is it still 12? I think after you wanked over a guy and killed 12 people, and I said, keep moving, you cunt, but there's it not turned the, but to there's, 18s. There's no explicit violence and nudity. It does be at least 15s. No? You beat the shit out of a girl in a toilet. Yes, but it's a love story. This is, this is a love story. It is a love story. I expect this to be finished by the end of the day. Then we'll see about cleaning up your mess. So my... Yeah, okay. I had something to say then, but just decided to about it. Sure, knowing you, you'll probably check it out. You could just put a beep on it. I'm not leaving it in, don't worry about it. Beep! I hear you can't answer your phone during this. I know you're not going to. Don't. It's don't. a reminder for the party. Oh, okay. It's a good party. It, it good starts party. now. This was fucking freezing. This was in February. I was actually almost died of pneumonia in that fucking scene. That was cold. This is the... Yeah. We shot this scene. Um... Sort of five degrees Celsius. And rings end. Uh, I had to cut out a lot of the sequence after this. It just didn't work. Yeah, for various reasons. So sound. This is where you come in and say something humorous to kind of lighten the mood when I get Look at them. Look at look at look how foreign they look, and yet they got Irish accents. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm just saying. My God. Anyway, Christian comes out of the sea and he doesn't know where he is and he's just, you know, been beating the crap out of him and he's swam through the sea for a lot of time and he's freezing cold and then he realises, fuck, there's people around he has to get off and kill Moira, the journalist who's also the sister of Lucy, who's already killed, to get her back because it's all that he has life, left life is. I think they know the story, man. They've watched the movie first. Remember? They might not. We might just skip to this because they see you and go, wow, that's the guy from The Clinic. I want to watch him do a commentary because he got his nipple pierced. Most of you probably don't know what The Clinic is, but if you check out <laughs> www.mhsm.com, <laughs> 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 I also have a website soon. I'm not going to promote it. Oh, time's up. We're going to cut the tape. Cut the movie. No, you don't have to cut the movie. Just do the change and then go straight into it. Yeah, but no, pause the movie. No, I, I don't. You have to pause the movie. No. It's much better if you just come straight back in and cut. Yeah, like, like, we're just like... Yeah, but that, by that stage we just moved on and we go, right, we... Right, you're still playing the movie? Yeah. Still playing? Yeah. I thought you said you're going to cut back to it. No, no, no. I, I think. Why did you stop it? Why did you work to stop I it? I think there's beautiful. Oh, fuck. You're like a fucking. I don't know. This is unbelievable. Fresh 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 yeah, there's a perfect way to put it. Why don't you just put it in between the glasses and let it start? Because, okay, it just didn't seem to make sense at the time. Perfect. Perfect. Give me a level. Testing one, two, three. So where are we now? Oh yeah, Una Healy wrote music for this as well. Beautiful music again. Kevin it's Kevin Wim no, no, Kevin Wims wrote the chase music and he wrote the last music as well. I can just turn it up to the you know the actual film. So Yari came along with his brick and tried to kill him and uh <laughs> Yari came along with his brick. <laughs> it's like it's his pet. <laughs> There's yeah. Yari in his brick again. <laughs> Always with the brick, Yari. <laughs> Came along with that. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, I have to go see him in the bar. I'm gonna go see him in the matinee. 
I have my sister in this as well, but they could have uh, just because it didn't work with sound. It just, it just made baby yeah. sister, different sister. She's very, actually very good. It's very annoying at the cutter, but the whole sequence was an extra step. Nah, top off, drink. <sighs> that doesn't even count. It counts, it was okay? You kept in your naked back. <sighs> it was part of the film. <laughs> So good old Yari gets killed. Dr. Patrick that. Rush in consultation with back the patient, to the old Christian Actually, Emmett, you're back in this here. Do the more in Emmett during Even when I'm dead, it's like, Even I'm, 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 I'm like the movie's answer to Jesus Christ, just resurrected you know, all the time, you know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. 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 Wow. How do you get bothered? You need to keep up appearances, Great difficulty, thanks very much. Dude, speaking as much. Your mum's very proud, though, right? She is very proud. Anyway, Brian smoking mm. a cigar, which I gave him from Cuba. I get, I'll give him cigarettes as well, but I have to say, I'm really looking forward to... I don't um, care about you at all. I, sp- I, I, I love the but light. I can help you. I'm really looking forward to... It helps me if I help you. I let that sing. Being cast <laughs> in a movie to lie or bullshit you. where I get, get to smoke again. So we can work together. I'm like, yeah. I've, I've stuck with it, you know? I've, no, I haven't started again. Well. You, wait, you want to my, ex- my excuse will... You want to smoke a movie again? You're smoking Dance of the Badger. Do I smoke? Oh yeah, I do. I I I think I love you in this scene. I think you're brilliant in this scene. I have to say. Well, thank you. This is a scene I like a lot. We lit this with two Ks shining through the windows, and that was just it. Just two two Ks. So you don't like social interaction? Shining through the window. For those of you who care about that sort of thing. Was it being too? You don't even know what a two K is. I do. I personally don't care. Do you know? What is, yeah. it, what is a two K? Two K is uh, well. There's two terms for it. Two K can either be two grand. Yeah. Or it can be a two K light, which is a light used to light things. Things that need light. That's under Wikipedia. Or www.dammitchasecanon.com. You have a choice. I was going to check out their website now, you know that? It plugs so often. It's a crap website as well. It's genius. Check out blankcanvaspictures.com, actually. It's not even up. It will be by the time this is released. It doesn't matter. It'll be up in about three weeks when we do this. You can't promote something that isn't even there. www.blankcanvaspictures.com You can die! I... Oh, whoa. Whoa. Sorry. I'm just just saying that, like, a lot of things can happen in the future. Dude, dude, that's not cool. That's not cool, dude. (laughs) Brian was great in that scene. This is my sister. He's like, Chris is actually looking at the little girl here, my sister, which actually the guys are bringing off to rape her, but it just made everything too big. And um, was trying to be on a lot of extra layers, but it, the film needs to be just higher. So, you know, it's just really stuff. I could put in these behind the scenes stuff extra. That's a friend of mine playing football with. There's Gillian. Did we? Yeah, yeah, Probably there. Was crap. Yeah. The day. Your hands. Oh, 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 you can never see. You couldn't even score on a brothel. Five that's, weeks that's or shit. Andy Cruz again after he dies. Loads of blood and guts. And that what? There was, you know, throat closed open. That's Carlos Band. It's a mate of ours. Produced a documentary, a fashion documentary with me. Which just got sold. Which didn't sold. Well, no, it just got air. It's getting air. Getting air in RTE. Probably actually in the time just DVD. Do I see any of it? No. I know, yeah, but still, I'd, I'd like to cut. Yeah. I seem to have mislaid my. So, this is a fun scene to do. I actually did actually hurt Carl's cheekbones with that. Nobody else. And he's a model. <laughs> Everybody's a model. Yes, sir. There's only no one. No. Well, apart from Carl. <laughs> you're just bitter because you're not a model. <laughs> apart from Carl. Hello? <laughs> Apart from Kyle, who's sporting a lovely second chin. Kyle, <laughs> 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 I, I love you, Kyle. Anyway, Kyle is great in that scene. A good old Killian Scott came for Kamala. Whose real name is Killian Murphy. He had to change his name because obviously there's another Killian Murphy who's in that man or something. He's a little better than most of us. Not Emmett, of course. Who is that? Why? God, no. No. Tie this shit up. I have to go. 
So yeah, that was also shot around Hope Castle. Do it all right. Um, and you yeah. sort yourself out. So we used to drink in there with kids. In fact, a few of the locations I shot, I used to drink in when I was a kid. Like, yeah. Oh, and that drinking. Obviously, I was over 18 when I did it. Or in America, I was over 21. My pocket. When I drank. There's a book in my pocket. That made no sense yeah. whatsoever. <laughs> Who was it? It's got numbers and addresses in it. Who was it? In the middle of working. Friend of mine. Russia addresses there. The friends? Yes, my, 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 since when have you started holding friends' They're names from me? How do I know? What, what's because I don't want to mention this person's name on camera. It's well, not fair name. They might work Give it a clue. 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 Give it's not true. Wow. It's not true. Like, I, even if I even if I refute that, it looks like I'm lying. But I'm refuting. Oh, thank you. you. Left me a voicemail. There's the sex face. That's not the sex. I have a much nicer sex Shows. face. Shows. You want me to show you? No. <coughs> yeah. We don't want to do that. So this is actually shot. This next scene's in the car park of a office in town, a law library office of lawyers, no less. <clears throat> so Brian drove in his car, and I was like, Brian, drive in at speed. So he drove in at speed. <laughs> was that speed? Or wrong? <laughs> that was Brian's speed. When, when you're 70, everything goes fast. <laughs> everything goes too quickly when you're 70. And I was like, Brian, leg it into this scene. Like, you know, ferocity. You know, you're just. Anyway. There's Bosco again. There's Bosco, there's Bosco with the hat on. He the same the guy that was in uh, Eddie Rockets. Rockets. And here's Frank again. Doing this, doing this. He's quit frying burgers and now he's a gangster. Yes. I've never, never, never seen this. Isn't that, 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 not that insight? Not that insight. It's a nice insight. Hey, Jay shot that. It's nice. There's Rudy Kennedy. Oh, there's Nico. There's Nico. You're good on Nico's in this. Uh, there's Moira. <laughs> Yeah, they know that. You don't have to fucking say everything. <laughs> you just said there's Nico. Silence is gold. You just said there's Nico. he's never oh, been mentioned there's before. Nico. It's because he's never been mentioned before. I was just doing what you did. I just love you so much. I feel I need to copy you. So Brian and Frank having a bit of a tete-a-tete -tete about authority and stuff. Chris is in an underpass and then Kyle decides he's going to do his authority. I know what's happening. With his cork accent. Let's talk about his embarrassing quality, things about them. His quality cork accent. Kyle, can you do a non-cork accent? No, Kyle, Kyle's girlfriend's hot. I haven't met her. Uh, she's quite hot, man. I mean, we don't know. <laughs> you what now? She's fucking Tootsie and Kyle have got that girl. She Unbelievable. Is? I don't know. Uh, it's obviously because Kyle's funny. He is funny. Oh, but, although, funny. No, no, back to this. I said to Kyle. Kyle said going, we don't need him on this. We don't need him on this. He's going to just cause more complications. And I was like, Kyle, can you do it in a non cork accent? He was like, okay. We don't need him on this. It's going to cause more complications. That's going to mean a lot for the Americans as well. Cork, they know what cork is. Cork accent. They don't even know how to get outside their own fucking country. <laughs> we do have electricity. They don't even know how many states they have in their country. Most of them. I did a survey. <laughs> By the way, we did not have to charge these batteries outside of Ireland. We do have electricity here to charge them. I was and there's no I, such I was, thing as I leprechauns. Asked, there's no such Americans. thing as leprechauns. I was asked, by the way, I was like, do you guys have electricity and TV? And I was like, yes, we have TV. This is Dylan Townsend's house. Like, <laughs> I got a message. So, Shannon Hayden, tell me, babe, how many... Is Sharon Hayden organizing this tonight? No, no, she organized my, my birthday, my 30th. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. My 30th in the... In the Emmett's, I know, Emmett's I, I look about 26. 36. So yeah. this this is a fun scene. This is actually, you know, this scene was shot after the pier scene, the nighttime scene. Whose house is this? This is this is the Dylan Townsend, Stuart Townsend's house, Chloe Townsend's house. The three of them, all three together. It's their house. It's a good thing you mentioned all three of them there. Well, just because it's all three of them. Thanks to your collection. <laughs> Flashback. <laughs> but we shot this scene straight after the scene in the pier. Which is the second scene in the film. Could you not do that? It's really... So I turn off the noise, isn't it? Jesus, I've it's been through really... so much. So have I. It is. So, Moira was bollocks oh. because actually the previous scene you saw where she's at night time having a glass of wine was shot at I 2 in the morning then we shot the pier at 4 or 5 in the morning oh, and straight here and shot this at 12 in the afternoon. So she was a little bit ragged or knackered. Who is he? Much better. So, fair play to her dedication for it. 
because it's like a 14 year old for like 18 sake. hours draw your own conclusions when you have money you don't need to do that sort of thing you're enjoying yourself aren't you? no or if you're just nice hopefully you get money for the next one you enjoy mm. watching it'd be nice <clears throat> yeah, dance with the badger bring yeah. it on it'd be nice be good cool. script look out for it don't say anything about the script we don't want to give away the story it's a good story though I'm not going to say anything about the script Dance of the Badger is about <laughs> two lesbians. Continue. <laughs> Even though I want to know what Even it is. I know what's going on there. <laughs> so yeah, good old Dylan says, we lit this with a large softbox. I don't know, chime in on Coming from the right hand side of Brian's face, down his left. Ever hurt me. And the window light. Unless we still need to be protected. So, be as you can see, which meant we could take down the light on Brian's face. He'll come um, looking for me. Jesus, I swear to God, if you didn't have me here, this commentary would be boring as shit. I don't know where you are. <laughs> are, you are you still talking about the fucking light? Are you naming the lights? <laughs> are, you, are you that bored that you're no! giving them names? Whoa, some people like that sort of crap. We've got a bit of comedy. Nobody likes they that do. sort of shit. They do. Oh, not even the light people Jerry like Bob it. Jerry Smith likes that A light people crap. is they a technical do. term. Light people is definitely a technical term. They don't Jason even like it. Jason and Cindy will appreciate this. We rented lights from City Electric at Nardmore Studios in Bray. Look, I'm not trying to be an actor. Anyway, flashback. There's Emmett again. Even when I'm dead, I'm alive. <laughs> it's about a young shepherd boy, if I recall correctly, on a journey of self-discovery. Anyway, we speak about the alchemist here, and it's all deep and meaningful and shit. And even yeah, I read even the alchemist yeah, actually. Good just recently. Don't, uh, don't, don't say if you don't like it on camera; it'd be bad. No, The Alchemist by Michael Scott. It's a, it's, oh, it's, yeah, it's about Maybe fantasy and, and oh, wizards care. and shit. Yeah, whatever, so it's crap. No, it's good. See, Even Yari seemed interested in this part. That the only man really That's Laura's um, the world hair in the back. All the nice expensive glasses. That's fascinating. Yeah, picking his nails. That's, that's right. Man. There's Look, you talking. I'm just <laughs> adding stuff that people are thinking about. There's Brian talking you in a car. In a car. He's looking yeah. back. He opens the door. Look, we we actually shot that in the car. The camera was in the car. The camera was in the car. Don't push me, Patrick. I'm not in the fucking mood either. From my bed, he's definitely killed people. And who gave him permission to go back? Don't don't judge somebody just because of what they've done in the past. I don't care if he's a company. I don't want him anywhere near his house. I don't want anybody else. How very true. There's Bosco. Big hand. Watch this. Chris out again. Watch this. Here we go. We gotta be quiet when he talks. Okay, okay, okay. You know, comes up in a second. There's this lads outside the window. Brian, gonna have a drink. That's my which is which is ironic because Brian's actually an alcoholic, <laughs> so he actually doesn't drink, which is <laughs> fucking great. Look, you're breaking up, but can barely hear you. Look, we're, we're by the abandoned quarry. What's going on? Look, the situation's under control, man. Get back in the car. It's now. okay, Bosco. <laughs> Bo Bosco's <laughs> in control. He's touching it. <laughs> He's touching it. Right? Bosco's in control. If Bosco like told you the situation was under control, get back in the car. <laughs> what would you do? Personally, I wouldn't believe him. First of all, I'd say, where'd you get your fucking hair cut? <laughs> Secondly, I'd say, why are you smelling oil? What's going on? So again, Kyle with the Cork accent. It wasn't as bad that time. He's not from Cork, though. He is. He's not. He is. He's from fucking Kerry or something. Why the fuck is he sounding like from Cork? Then? No, he's definitely not from Cork. Anyway, Kyle, Kyle's not from Dublin. So yeah, Kyle's from outside Dublin and he's from the country. So if you're outside of Dublin to all you Americans, it means you're back. Back in the car, now. Please, I just want to talk to you. <laughs> Will you please stop? Do you still think it was an accident? <laughs> anyway. I'm um, actually going out with him tonight. He's actually going to be out tonight. Ah, oh, fuck. No, he's dead. Anyway, um, so back to them. This is the only movie he's ever been in and he didn't even turn up for the premiere. No. That's what he's like. And he's, yeah. Dude, why did he turn to the premier? He's washing his hands. He's too much pussy. Nico, lines. 
This is a real knife, which is sharp, actually, and it did slice by I, I, when I say we, I mean, I did by mistake, slice by mistake. Will you ever wake up? Don't blame this on me! Don't get quite you aggressive. You created this situation! You did all of this! Immediately you want to. Anything out of range of... Yeah, we're on chapter 13, my lucky number, which is the second last chapter of the film. <laughs> we're nearly at the end. Um, I'm almost at my destination. Thank you for your respect. <laughs> this music was also done by Kev, and I call this music Crazy Six. Fuck. Crazy Six makes for me. Finally, some anger. Fuck. <laughs> He's been abused. How can you be so stupid? Do you want, do you want me to do the commentary for the... Oh, we, we should do the oh, we should do the one for the uh, model thing. Even though I've got nothing to do with it. That would be funny. That's not a commentary type of... Uh, oh yeah, it's a documentary, so it's already commentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Look at this. <laughs> I wish we could rewind! See the way he grabbed Bosco. Bosco's the security guard. Where is he? Please! Please. Get back in the car now! Fuck you! That's rude. I thought Bosco was good in that scene. There's Rudy, get out of the car. Ready to kill people, we got a nice bit of life. Yeah, that's fucking country. <laughs> that's a country accent. Lenny, you want me to buy it? Don't run the back! Fuck you! Fuck you! Well, the reason I couldn't have any blood on the couch <laughs> <Look at this. laughs> Wait. The best bit is coming over here. I mean, he does something like that. Okay, so he loses the flow with his camera. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Okay, so this Bush is dead. Coming up. So is Carl. We think Ooh. Christian has that car. Okay, that's awesome. my ex. <laughs> hey, honey. Carl, Emmett's working. How are you? This is currently Emmett's ex girlfriend on the phone. Live on camera. This is almost like being in um, He Wants to Be a Millionaire. Yeah, yeah. Carl, so. Carol, Carol, you're Christian live on camera. Say what, Carl? You've got the biggest well, I, a a I can't story. understand your country accent. What, what are you trying to say? I said. <laughs> yeah, okay, right. Yeah, I'll give you a call back. <laughs> that, there it is! <laughs> I'll give you a call back. No, he does it the coolest death in the whole we're, film, we're doing a We're doing a commentary for but, Christian but, Blake, but so I'll give you a call back. It's almost over. The, but this death is never right, over. All right, sorry about that. This is one of the coolest deaths. He does get a cool death sequence. What are you talking it's about? It's cool, look at slow motion. Everything in slow motion that, is cool. Everything in slow motion is cool, but then, then he dies and then he still looks like he's... I mean, he, he looks like he's just died from a punch in the ribs. <laughs> no, he got stabbed. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. obvious. I, I thought you were the man of the killer punch. If you can get him, if you just say that, it's a killer punch. It's a killer punch. That's a man, isn't it? Oh, look at him slide down. Look, he's dead. Look, that's a good death. It's not bad. Yeah. Bosco, look, he's dead. He, he stays there. He doesn't look up. Okay, move. Oh, he moved him there. <laughs> no, but he moves his head back. He's dying. He's dying. He's not dead yet. It's whatever. Mora gets a good death in there. Gets choked, and you know I think she enjoyed it a bit too much. Yeah, she <laughs> did. Should have said that. You should have let me. Let's say that. Ryan, Emma, go for say it. I think she enjoyed it too much. No, no, that's a horrible thing to say. There you go. <laughs> say. Good cop, bad cop. Yeah. Works every time. So, yeah. Nice car. She's, she's all right now. Yeah. Yeah. She wants me to pick up Kayla. Kayla's my daughter. She's beautiful girl. She wants me to pick up Kayla for school. I'm going to marry Kayla when she's 16. She's six. six. Yes, ten years time. It's a long-term project. <laughs> <laughs> God, poor thing. So, um, she wants to be an actress. I put her in a film. She's yeah. already been in the film. Yeah, I know, but directors obviously seduce. They can't see that because it's blown out. We gotta move it back. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, it doesn't matter. We Look, can just put on. Take my word for it. Check it out on <coughs> www.mjscannon.com. Music a again by Kevin Wims coming up, as you can hear. <sighs> your parents. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Wims. That come no noise. Let's talk about your father. We got back to Brian. No. Bit of a voice. Dying for a piss. Your mother. Yeah, me too. We still alive. To go to the Jacks. Yeah, I want to go to the fucking. The only reason I didn't, the only reason I didn't go to the Jacks, I didn't trust to leave you on your own. Is there anything you'll talk about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I serious. thought so. Yeah. That's why I'm squirming the last 15 minutes, going like this all the time. Do you know the best time of year to photograph 
The rosette turned. I have no idea what a rosette turned. spring when the nesting. Either there's Brian or Barry. <laughs> Look at this interest on his face. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Shut up, Owen. I do know what a rosette turned is. My dad used to photograph them. You know, they, 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 they fly around the place. Rest your soul. That's right, it's so. <laughs> in the place in the yeah, yeah. Look at the socks! <laughs> They're the worst socks in the world! What is with his socks? So harsh. That's a fake real watch. That's a fake <laughs> real watch? Yes. Get out! That makes sense. If look! You think a fake He's real watch. He's got a hole in his sole! <laughs> what is that? <laughs> he needs new he shoes! Look at that! Exactly. He was the guy who looks like wears all gummage. Bosco, I'll buy your shoes, mate. Oh, just ask. Done. Where did Steve get the stripy jumper? That one will help your mom didn't give you that, because that's hard for me. Wow. See the reg playing in my car there, it's about to get rid of it. This must have been, I'd say this must have been, personally, one of the hardest scenes for you guys to do. After everything that you've been through, and, and the fact that you've shot this for about a year and a half, and it had, this is the scene that has to fucking sell it. You gotta have to be honest. What actually happens. happened was it wasn't shot for year and a half because we shot in increments, like six yeah, months. Yeah, we know that. But it, it, <clears> what I mean is, period. what actually happened was we were about to do the scene from now. You see, there was snow on the ground. From when Steve was standing there, it actually snowed. Wow. This was shot in April, and the fucking snow. That's why the sky is red. It snowed, and we had to like wait for an hour for the snow to stop and then wipe it all off the, uh, the roof of the car. And then this is the very first take I think and Donald pushed me back and I fell and smacked my head and you see the snow on the ground there it's just down the left uh, and uh, Donald pushed me back and slipped in the snow and there you see the snow oh, quite obviously you never see the snow before did no, you? no no there's a the snow not if, if you, would, you'd have you wouldn't to even notice for it. it yeah you still didn't notice it there's snow everywhere and uh, I fell back and Donald was showing into my nose and I felt my nose and snow and uh, I was knocked unconscious for about at least 35 seconds fuck oh, off so they were shooting me, and I could just keep doing it, so I was actually out of my face. I was face doing it, so I was face doing it, so I was face doing it, so I was face doing it. Stop, Steve! I love you, Steve! You love me! I love you, Steve! There you go. That was actually, the other one actually smacked me off the bottom of the car. Fuck you! But that was, that was so... The rest of me kind of fell in the middle of the snow. Oh, it's a good thing you were unconscious for 35 seconds when you were dying. No, 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 I had to stop shooting. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. Um, this song drops the rainbow and Haley. I wrote this song. This is your ex-girlfriend, right? So ex. A very good friend of mine, an ex-girlfriend. Ex a beautiful girl. Really sad. Fantastic song. Beautiful girl. Ex. Don't do this to me. This is harsh. Wow. <laughs> <coughs> Killing me here. Killing me. Love There's nothing wrong with that. Love the Saturdays. I was talking to you. Love just said you ma married my daughter. I can say whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> Well, I offered to marry your ex, but she still likes you for some odd reason. It's about the fact that I wouldn't. That's well, what I want to know. I don't know. Hey, well, I wrote this song in Texas. I got stuck in Texas for two days and missed the missed, missed, missed two. You wrote this thing. song? Yeah, yeah. Let me listen to the words. Hang on. Do you know this song? I wrote this song in Texas after Dallas Apple. There's wealth inside my bones and that I'm sure. And Una put the melody to it, and obviously the beautiful. I didn't write in the ooze. That was like kind of performers. This is obviously ah. this film is dedicated to my father, who died 16 months ago. So, James Mack and rest in peace. Thank Much you. love, man. 
Thank you. So yeah, and I this, this last this the, I love <clears> this song. Uh, Written, edited, produced, directed by Owens. You forgot to start. That comes up first credits. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> could actors be any more narcissistic in hold any way hold on a second I could I didn't even put well no I agree I'm place. like I'm as narcissistic as the next you person that's the only reason why I'm doing this no one's as narcissistic as you that's the only reason why I'm doing look this look at Amos Third Third you originally had no character in the film Emma Floyd Kitchen. I don't even get a surname <laughs> <laughs> just Floyd well I thought Floyd suited your character the name is very important Floyd to Nine no. Inches Hard to Swallow Scanlon Hold on, I'll go fix the end credits and fix that for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, okay. Is there any names I made up here? No, actually. That's, that's true. So, here we are. This is the end of it. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed the commentary. Uh, hope you and enjoyed the, movie. the film. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the movie. Thank you very much for watching. If you actually watched this, um, appreciate it. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And thanks everyone who helped out on the film. And thanks to Emmett for doing this with me. Uh, we're gonna go get pissed. Yes, we are. We're going to a party now. Yeah, we are. <coughs> um... And that's pretty much it. Thanks everyone involved, and this was a lot of fun. And I hope that people rent this, and I hope that eventually this becomes an interesting movie for people to watch. A little cult movie would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, very nice. Oh, here. It's a fun oh, movie. First and foremost, or last but not least, should I say, because we just that. Last but not least, thanks to America for buying the fucking. Yes, thing. thank you to Celebrity Home Video for taking this on and for releasing it. And I hope the fuck I can actually manage to compress this into a file that's small enough to fit on one DVD. Other people have. Well, I know, I don't have to take it, figure it all out. Yeah, you, you, you've always figured shit out. Oh, I will work it out some way. So, um. Don't, don't leave me alone. <laughs> fuck it, man. Yeah, anyway, let's go party. Yeah. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh.